flying, but I don't see anybody else stepping up other than the autopilot. What's up, friends? Welcome back to XCOM. So, I'm gonna take a sec just to kind of get my bearings again. It's been just over a week since I've recorded any of this XCOM stuff. Uh, okay, so we got Deadeye in the shopshooter training, Kenneth Ward Ranger training. Uh, Vengeance could be a cheap and easy pickup. Attack infiltrations is quite a while away. We're not going to be getting that anytime soon. Vulture is actually a super, super important skill. So as soon as we get a sergeant, we need to get that. Okay, so no soldiers available for that training. So, based on my experience of previous long wars, but bear in mind that's mostly long war one, I know that we have, generally speaking, about until the end of August or end of or beginning of September until the doom counter will tick down and the game will be over. So what's the you date lived in now? one of the it's colonies April. for a few years May, before June, linking July, up the central, August. right? Yes, uh, so one of the months. advantages of working with Advent. On the <laughs> Shut surface, up, Doug. It was very comfortable, but there was a price. I think we have at least comfort. Uh, the millions of people months. in those cities don't seem to mind all that much. Yes. But to be able to find the first dark side and start managing between the their counter. forces and the aliens themselves. So, they in see previous everything. playthroughs, not I've made the mistake of not focusing systems. on the objectives enough. There's shut up, Tarkin! Like providing identification to a lamp post. Hey, shut up! Good lord! Right. So, in previous playthroughs, I've made the mistake of not being aggressive enough with the objectives, and then the game just ends randomly. So, we've done the GTS. We obviously need the ne the next building. I think just categorically has to be. The AWC, we need to get our healing up quicker and we need to, to have the ability to train people up. Then I want to get the proving ground done as quick as I can. Also because in previous versions of XCOM you can kind of reasonably rely on upgrading your grenades to plasma grenades with comparative ease. But that is so not the case here. Because getting your hands on a, a muton corpse is damn near impossible. Given that I'm already down to level 3, when I've finished this alien debris, what I might actually do is consider investing in a workshop in this position, because that's going to give us gremlins to unlock while we build other stuff. I think that will depend on how much money we get at the end of the month. I mean, it says income is 277, but of course, some of the faceless that are infiltrating are going to knock some of that off the top. A workshop is 100, an AWC is 150. If I can build both, I think I probably should. Because what we can always do is. Uh, once we have once we have finished excavating all three of those positions uh, which we've gotten access to from the workshop we can always just destroy the workshop and then build the, the proving ground I would essentially be spending the cost of the workshop to get a little you know one extra engineer for as long as it takes to do those three excavations which I think might be worth it because those three excavations are advent machinery which give us a lot of alloys which we're going to need because I also noticed in our research tree that we're just a few Illyrium crystals away from getting our or being able to research laser weaponry and I want to get the laser weaponry up and running as quickly as we can but of course Illyrium is what we're bottlenecking on so if we can get a smash and grab we can get a smash and grab to proc I might actually pull back one of these two missions to bring the soldiers to bear onto the smash and grab because that's probably the only way we're going to get our hands on some Illyrium Unless we excavate one of the shielded power coils. See, I don't like the fact that it says the enemy readiness is normal. So we can expect probably 10 to 12 aliens, which is a hell of a lot. How big's our squad? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 of us. Okay, a few corporals, Lance Corporal. Okay, this is our A team, clearly. That's going to get us just some intel. Hoping for more in the way of rewards, we need to find one of those missions that has find a lead as one of the secondary rewards. It's time the aliens and the rest of the Advent Administration learn that we can hit them where it hurts. So we're moving into the city center to strike a high profile target. Deploy and approach the designated position. Neutralize any hostile contacts and secure the site. So cool for me to see this location. Johannesburg. I was in Johannesburg yesterday for job interviews. Oh, video games. How awesome are you?
the sabotaging the advent monument at least it's one of these missions where we are not going to have to deal with the turn timer so we can take our time setting up make sure we have a, a good a good position with high cover and hopefully heart advantage do i have a sharpshooter here doesn't look like it If at all possible, I want to try to set up a crossfire with the sharpshooter, if we have a sharpshooter. We do. Excellent. We're in concealment. We've all got a negative... Oh, oh god, that increased, increased detection radius is one of the most difficult ones to deal with. But the obvious approach is through this building here. It even has a second floor. But the second floor doesn't give us access to high cover on the second floor. This building is only one story, so... So I think this is our engagement point here. We've got one, two, three, four bits of high cover. I can pretty safely tuck my sniper away there, but that's not going to give us the crossfire I was hoping for. No, putting them over here doesn't give them good sight lines. The other option is we put the sniper up here and we take this building. Force the engagement around here. And then all the aliens that take up these positions will be flanked to our sniper. Honestly, I think that's probably a better idea. That being said, it's a pretty damn small chance that we're going to be able to infiltrate this building without getting spotted. If I can get my lads on the roof up onto this half cover kick off the engagement that we can drop down into high cover on the next turn and then have our sniper go to work got it so getting our way over to that building copy. Moving on without target. getting spotted it's going to be really hard I have eyes on the enemy particularly with this little anti-surveillance drone with the increased protection radius So that's our access point to the roof there. Let's fall back a little bit. Rolling. Verstanden. Bin unterwegs. If I can get Hitlist into the building on ground floor, I will do so. But I don't seem to have any points of ingress. Well, that door over there seems miles away. Uh, just get up on the roof. Ich halte aus. can hear a mech stomping about that is legit terrifying because that mech means that uh a cover is going to be no good because it's all destructible okay and i don't think we have very much in the way of armor piercing rounds yet please tell me my ranger okay thank oh thank orange jesus move 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 Thank Jake Solomon. Thank all the XCOM gods. On it. So this is the plan. Get your ass at once. Roger that. Uh, moving up here is actually too dangerous right now. Far too dangerous. This is probably way safer, but I mean, if he hits a surveillance drone. Heading there now. Ooh. Okay, them. So that's, that's going to be his spot, I reckon. You know, this is better because you know, it depends if there's a pod here. The point is, I need my main strike force to be in position before Buster Nut gets revealed. If he gets caught out by himself before we're in position. Confirmed. It's gonna get ugly. Affirmative. Moving out. Don't like the way the game is slowing down as I click move there. 
Where's our high cover spots here? Is that a window? It's not. That's a window, I think. I wish these were windows. Damn. Okay, so we kind of need to move across all the way here to the left. But that only gives us one, two, three high cover spots. There's pillars there. Okay, we need to get further across onto the roof here. I need Tony Martins to get in there and scout from the ground. Preferably. Begebe mich zum Ziel. Eyes on the prize. The only problem I've got is that I'm doing your job. Let's do this. Okay, so. If Al Pacino has armor piercing rounds, which he does. You're crossing here now. I think I have to try to put him there. I'm on the move. But not just yet. On the next turn, probably. There is still a surveillance drone kicking about here somewhere. And at least if he's there, then he's literally like one sprint move away from uh, grouping up with his team. If he gets caught out horribly out of position. It. Ooh, that's potentially going to reveal us in the next turn. Position confirmed. I just I want to tuck him in here now, while he at least has this bit of cover. Now, I don't think we. Because of this surveillance drone, it's too dangerous to move at all anymore here now up on the roof. A slight change of plan then. So that high cover needs to be James Jawara's position. Moving to designated position. <sighs> so scary. Moving to Overwatch. So I'm expecting this surveillance drone to reveal us here on the next turn. But well, I feel like we can work with that. On the move. Not the way I wanted to kick this off. I want I wanted a big overwatch turn on a full pod, but that doesn't seem like it's gonna be likely. Excellent position. So is this all the scanning from that drone through the window there? Man, if only there were windows here, that would have been such a good position for us. Mir geht nichts. I'm on the move. So, once this kicks off, the main thing Moving is about watch. getting eyes on that mech and taking it down before it can grenade us. We don't yet have an officer with uh, incoming. Come on, I see one more turn from that drone. Might be able to get away with this. I'm on my way. Nope, revealed. They spotted us. Uh. I've got this turn at least. Target eliminated. Great shooting, James. Overwatch. I feel like Arnie needs to move up and make sure he hits this thing. Get him, Arnold. Oh, die. Breeze roll a six. He does not roll a six. Please. Well, shit. Clearly we're not going to be able to get eyes on that surveillance drone. 
any case. I'm going. Hmm. Can't flash. No. This is bad. Bad, 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 bad. Overwatch. Well, I've got revival, so I mean, this drone will probably shock Arnie. We can remove the. Okay, it's not the end of the world. On Overwatch. Frustrating, but not that bad. A hit list, unfortunately, just couldn't hit that door. Bestätigt. But at least on the next on the next turn, he can still sneak out there. All right. Check. Let's hope we don't get grenaded. We should be fine. Having troops here. Oh, good shooting, James. Weak hit. We've got Advent here. Okay, so I can hit the mech with my sniper if I can get eyes on it. So it's going to be up to my uh, shinobi, Tony Martins, to make sure he get eyes on that mech. Shit, I don't see how I'm gonna get eyes on that mech this turn. Does revival end my turn? I think it does. We might have to do something a bit nutty here with my shinobi, so a protocol. Control enemy 63% is probably worth that's that's worth going for. Is, what's the percentage chance that Arnie can hit that thing even though he is confused? 78, yeah, okay, we're going for the hack, 100 percent If we can successfully hack this gremlin, then hopefully Activate the mech haywire. will go for it. Seventy-six percent, awesome. Oh, that's right. We got an advanced hack PCS. Profit. Piece of cake. Yeah, it is, Lincoln. This is super important because almost any of my guys, if they get grenaded, they'll take three or four damage plus two damage of falling, which these guys won't survive. And Al Pacino certainly couldn't survive that. So I'm, if I stay, if I keep Al Pacino where he is, I'm essentially gambling. I'm essentially taking a bet. I'm taking a bet that that mech won't... Uh, won't grenade Al Pacino. But given the fact that we've got a drone closer, I I'm, f I'm fairly confident. But answer me one thing. Okay, good. So, hang on. Rapid targeting on the officer, which will make it easier for my ranger to hit him. This is exactly why I went for the crossfire. It's super risky for your sharpshooters, but it pays off so well for exactly this reason. Hostile intel down. located. Okay, two down, seven to go. Arnie, if you get a little bit closer, you can Keep maybe get a higher chance to hit this thing. Before you, and he had a limitation of the women. No, wrong target. Ah! Hostile target down. Okay, let's just let's just Hostile forget terminated. that ever happened. Let's just draw a, a discreet veil over that. See you, Lewis. I have probably just gotten Al Pacino killed. Why does anyone ever watch me play XCOM? I think it's because of all those scripts that I make. I was just feeling so good and so confident that I went to hit and went to hit and smash the shoot button, not realizing it would default to that fucking drone first. Okay, please don't don't grenade Al Pacino. If he grenades these guys, we can okay suppress. Oh, I'm a lucky boy. 
I'm the luckiest boy that ever was. Uh, I don't deserve to get away with murder like that. <laughs> I really don't. Oh my word. Okay, I'll go. Get him, Jack. Right in the face. I think you should see this. 59%, no. Pick up the thing. Just a scope. Uzi 9mm. <laughs> totally, yeah. Actually, a shite weapon, the Uzi 9mm. Okay, so. Just these three left. Damn, minimum damage. See, Lincoln Osiris does not have armor piercing rounds. James is gonna have to reload. I think he has an auto loader. No, he oh, does yeah. not. So, let's see, so command ends my turn. What can I do? Uh, spend an action. Okay, so is that gonna hit? No, you can help Arnie maneuver. We'll get the reload in. Let's rock. Uh, I, I did reload with Frozen Owl. Yeah, okay, good. Target is sighted. Looking at that weapon, that that weapon has a laser sight on it, which is nice. But I feel like an autoloader will do more work for us uh, as, as a ranger. I don't think I need to run in and slash here. Let's just hold position. Tony Martins can run in there and start slicing and dicing on the next turn. They're all over me! Just have to hope that guy blanks himself. Who's got a mad oh, come on! Such a low chance to hit. I mean, considering the fact that I have a uh, sapper, I might be able to get rid of some of this cover. Al Pacino doing work this mission. Target neutralized. Yeah, so I, I must remember to get into the habit of suppressing as my final action, because like now I just straight up wasted that suppression action. Ich bin aufgeflogen. You see a stability, nice for a dodge. Ich habe das Zeug. Ich habe das Zeug. I have the thing. That advanced hair trigger is awesome. That's going to go onto a rifle or a ranger. Roll him out. Roger that. Actually, I didn't need to abandon my high position, uh, height advantage positions. And I think this is, is this an extraction mission? I think it is. Schon unterwegs. I might as well get the uh, extraction area going. I think it's gonna take like four or five turns. Ich hab das Ding. I'm on it. Oh, we got nice loot from this mission. Can you imagine if we had Vulture up already? Target package secured. 
Let's chuck the uh, exfiltration zone here. And Evac! Now! After Tony Martin's drops the charges, we'll all retreat. This, this is Firebrand. Uh, Evac high request cover over confirmed. Here. Light advantage over here. Uh, even Al Pacino. Rolling out! MVP for me on this mission has got to be Al Pacino. He did such work from his Double flanking right position off. with his sniper rifle. Will do. Kind of pointless putting Arnie up on the high ground with that shotgun. He's not going to overwatch shit with that shotgun. I'm ready. I'm on it. Natürlich. Oh, okay, that's it. All right, we don't have to evac, but that does that mean no, no salvage? I mean, if we didn't have to evac, then surely we should have got full salvage. I'm confused. Anyways, uh, hmm, who's the MVP on that mission? I think it's got to be Buster Nut Chino, Alpha Buster Nut, with his flanking shots put up that nice crossfire and certainly it was a risk putting him out there but he was money from that uh, flanking position we got incredibly lucky that that mech didn't grenade us and I gotta remember to not be so damn blase between uh, between shots shooting that little drone that we were able to hack absolutely sucked An impressive performance, Commander. Oh, 28 Our days. skills are improving Damn. with every deployment. That didn't have to happen. Alpha? Mm, center mass. It's got to be center mass. All about the damage. As much as I like high ground. And of course, combatives. Yep. 69 aim is quite nice. Or oh, Shinobi. Ooh, plus the mobility. I like. The dodge will be good as well, but that mobility is huge. We'll probably chuck that on an assault trooper. I find the shinobis tend to not need the extra mobility because they always just carry little uh, SMGs anyway. Uh, yeah, no one to train as an officer. The only ones who are training are specialists and some, what are they called again? The rocket launcher dudes? Technicals. We're using technicals as haven advisors. That's nice to give them. Uh, Officer skills wherever possible. Let's take a look at the squads. Right, only five of us. But it's going to be huge if we can get it. It's one, two, three resistance personnel. Three or four. Well worth it. It's really going to help us. We've only got th three currently in that country. So getting up an extra four is really going to help us. Yeah, we got a full 13. Very nice. We'll go all the way out to supply here. Really get the money going. Look at that, 309 income. Awesome. Nice, another ranger. Drop shooter. What we got here? Corpses. Right, so. Two assaults, two grenadiers, only one gunner. Need another gunner. Two sharpshooters, two shinobis, two specialists, two technicals. So we need a sharpshooter. Uh, excuse me, a gunner. Buck Speedman's got nice aim, but uh, three hit points. I feel like you, you can't be a gunner with only three hit points. Ben Barton's decent, his aim could be better. Uh, and, ooh, Jack's Teller with a 10 hack. Be specialist. Okay, so I think Barton, gunner, Teller, specialist. Uh, and Parner's got nine hack as well, but. Yeah, we'll take Barton. Gunner, that's two gunners we got now. Next teller, a specialist. So eventually, we, I want to have at least uh, four specialists and then two of every other class. The idea being that I can always have two of my specialists in officer training while the other two go out on missions. Uh, lightning strike. Vengeance is cheap, we could do that. 
Lightning strike is great, but we obviously don't have the supplies for it. And strength is only two. Good. What you got for us? Fashion grab. Nice. Enemy material. It's only five days though. But we need a special grab so desperately so that we can get some Illyrium to go to laser weapons. We've got 47 intel. I could spend 30 intel to boost infiltration. Uh, yeah, I mean I was hoping that I could have uh, extracted out those power coils to get Illyrium out of them there, but we know we're near getting those, so that's not going to help us get laser weapons. I think we have to try it, and we spend the 30 intel. See what kind of squad we can put together here. Looks like the same five from the previous mission. Buster Nut, Frozen Owl, Sergeant, Governator, Hit List. Who else? So, hmm. Boosting by 50%, so 50% of, let's call it five days. An extra two and a half days, so seven days, 12 hours, the maximum we can get. That does mean then, but I need to reduce, I don't know, about 7 days and 10 hours, because you've got to factor in the travel time to the destination. If we take Deadeye, and we give him all the armor piercing rounds left. Yes, AP rounds. Extra med kit, of course, always good on sharpshooters, ceramic plating he needs. What's that? Seven days, twelve hours. We need to get. I think we need to eliminate two, uh, two bits of kit to get us down to seven days, ten hours. The med kit can go, I reckon. Yeah, scratch the med kit. What else? I think the dodge. Yes, give him the dodge. Up to twenty dodge. That's pretty good for a shinobi. Drop shooter. Mobility is more than enough. Triple weapon mods. Okay, so advanced expanded. Yep, that is absolutely what I want. Nice improved hair trigger. Great for Overwatch. Dope. The Ranger, of course, is our best reliable damage at the moment. Laser sights are actually pretty good on the sniper rifles. A lot of times you're shooting at targets out in the open and all that are flanked. We gave Arnie a shotgun last time but he wasn't able to do very much with it because of the range problems he had. I think we give him assault rifle because I've got sharpshooters with hollow targeting so his 66 will become a 76 which I'm happy to take. Mobility? Yeah he's fine, he doesn't need that mobility. I think we're going to save that for an assault trooper. seven days give the laser sight to Deadeye pity that there's no stock for him to be able to use steady weapon actually if I put the stocked weapon on the less experienced sniper then the more experienced sniper with a better aim yeah, yeah he won't need this the, the stock as much as the squatty uh, lower ranked sniper with the lower aim. Okay, so we'll give Buster Nut the laser sight. Hair trigger on a sniper rifle? Mm, nah. Besides, there's assault rifles that I could give it to. What's the color again? It's five, I think. Weapon colors are five. Go. That's a regulation. Uniform, super important. Only plus five percent, but hey. We're going to be taking a bunch of reaction shots, I hope. Overwatch, I mean, not reaction. Little SMG, I could give a laser sight to as well, but... Yeah, that Shinobi needs to be using his sword 9 out of 10 times. It's a 20 as a secondary. Yep, there you go. 5. Very cool, did I? Looking good, buddy. I think that's it. Operation Vindictive Arrow, smash and grab. Five days and one hour. Total infiltration is seven days, eleven hours. Fifty percent. I think I need to cut one more 
one more item, get it out to 10 hours. After factoring one hour travel time, I just have to be over 100% infiltration. Hmm, what do I cut here? What do I cut? What can we do without grenade? Oh, the smoke. Yeah, okay. Cut the smoke. No problem there. Would like a second smoke, but there's already one on our specialist. Okay, so mission expiration five days. Half of five days is two days, 12 hours. 13 gives us three hours to play with. I think that's going to be fine. Okay, bust out, frozen out, sergeant, governor, hit list, dead eye. Voodoo squad, let's roll. Good luck, men. We need these supplies. This Illyrium will be huge for us if we can get some. Sky Ranger deployed. Ah, it's supplies in seven days. Five days for intel and find a lead. I do have to do one of those soon. It's harder to hit. Oh, man, that sucks. I think it's like 5 or 10% less chance to hit all shots. God, that sucks. The thing about Long War, though, that those dark event projects start piling up really quick. I don't think we are playing with permanent dark events. Or should we? It's hard enough as it is. Is Sierra actually going to get to 100% infiltrated? I hope so. I mean, I can't afford to spend intel to boost... Okay, 15 hours. Yeah, we're fine, we're fine. Fly raid, which you obviously can't do because you only got four days to prepare for it, so... These supply raids... One of the biggest problems, I think, of playing with all pods active because... Supply raids are one of the very few missions where you get full salvage. But we, we are in no way able to do that now. We'll maybe be able to do some of those supply raid missions once we have our quad infiltration upgrades and we have the ability to take eight or ten soldiers in, all with full gear, all our best soldiers. I mean, in my offline testing with those sorts of um, missions, you're fighting between 25 and 40 aliens. <laughs> so, and it's all pods active, so when it's 40, you, your six little soldiers hit the ground with their little ballistic weapons, and then there's 40 aliens running at you. It's just flat out not possible. At least not under the circumstances that we're playing it. Um, I think it's worth thinking about switching up the supply gathering and intel gathering between South Africa and West Africa. Maybe once the strength in South Africa becomes higher than it is in West Africa. Mm, that being said, I like the look of that plus 309 income. I mean, there's no way we can do this. Nah. Operation Magma Introduction. <laughs> Now we've got to ignore it, we can't do it. Maybe once we have a full squad with laser weapons and we can get a good infiltration going. Which is what makes me think about maybe switching uh, infiltration to West Africa. If we put all 13 on, inf inf uh, on intel gathering and we put a scientist there, we should be able to get a mission like this above 12 days infiltration time, which will let us send a full eight-man squad and give us a chance we probably still be against 20 aliens in our, our eight-man squad. And all of them, it's a revealed start, most likely. Maybe if it's no more than, at the absolute maximum, 15 aliens. And we're able to get infiltration start so that we can, I don't know, lob a grenade and overwatch an entire pod, kill five of the 15 in that first engagement. It's still 10 aliens against our eight guys, though. Maybe. I don't know. I've... In all the time playing Long War, I've never been able to do one of these uh, ambush convoy missions just because of how little time you have to prepare them and how many aliens are on them. This mission is going to be huge for us. One, two, three, four. That's three. That's four. Zolani is four. That's four resistance co personnel. That's huge for us. Really can help us with the supplies and the intel. Hmm. 
I'm never normally this indecisive when it comes to XCOM, but Long War is such an absolute bastard of a campaign. Good God, it's hard. And I'm sure it's technically possible to beat Long War 2 on, uh, on Legend.